and welcome to the tour video of the student experience for the new Smart Science Next Generation. For 2023, we have relaunched the entire Smart Science Virtual Lab platform and we are going to give you a little taste here today. So once we've signed in, let's go check in on one of our classes of labs. We've got a lot of different options here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the first lab, Simple Graphs. And what you notice right away is we still have the same great smart science pedagogy with the modified 5e style engage explore evaluate explain and extend here's the engage page where students get a brief background description of the lab some reading and then follow up with some warm-up questions just notice if the student gets the question wrong they get a hint a five second timeout and then they can try again. Once the student has gotten all the warm-up questions right, then it's time to go ahead and hand in the questions to the teacher with this review button. We are asked if we'd like to be graded. I will say okay. And now we see the results of the warm-up. We can see each correct answer, what we answered, and an explanation to each question. It's time to move on to the lab itself. Let's proceed to explore. Smart science is based on the scientific method pedagogy. So after students see a brief description of what the lab is about with some diagrams and a short guideline as to how to measure in this lab, they're going to get the central question for the lab and make a hypothesis they'd like to test. So in this case, very simple concept, how does speed affect graph slope? And we have some choices, or if the teachers allowed us, we could even write our own hypothesis. If the first moves faster, does the line get steeper, shallower, or does not change? Let's just try the first one. That becomes our hypothesis. And now let's go ahead and test that out by doing some video experiments. One of the hallmarks of smart science, what makes it so very special is the fact that we have interactive video technology. Not only do we show the video of the experiment, for example, here's the girl walking down the beach, but then we let the student measure point by point real data from the video. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on the girl's head and then we're going to do it again. And as we do this, the points are moving automatically over to our data table and our graph. And once we've done a series of points for each of the videos, it's going to say complete and we get a chance to push this update button on the lower right which saves it into our graph area right here. Now I can click walk, I can see the red walk graph, and I can see approximately distances and times. You can even mouse over the points and see the value of the individual points that you measured. Let's try another one, say running. Let's go ahead and press play, watch the girl run, and go ahead and measure. Now notice the hypothesis is right here. If the person moves faster, I think the line's gonna get steeper or higher. Let's find out if I had the right idea of what was going on in this lab. We're gonna click on the girl running, and there she goes, each frame all the way to the end. Now I can click up in the sky, down on the ground, but I try to be consistent so I have a good set of data. We've completed another set. Let's press the update button and there's walk and there's run very interesting the runner got through the same distance as the walker in quite a lot less time in fact in about a second and a half the runner did the oh i don't know about almost three meters there and it took the walker about six seconds for that same amount of distance so very quickly we have found out that indeed the person who's faster the line gets steeper is supported by my data and the student does have a chance to do five different videos to continue to support this idea with evidence. We've made our claim, here's our evidence, now let's go do some reasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this arrow and proceed on to my evaluate section. Before we get a chance to write about the lab, let's look at our graphs, and then let's go ahead and answer a few questions about what we just did, what we learned, the graphing, the variables, the axes, the results. We can submit these to the teacher, find out the results, get a little summary of what we should have learned, 
and then proceed on to the explain. Now here's another unique part of smart science, something really special. We're allowing the students, after looking at their graphs, to take a chance and write up a lab report with some focused questions, such as what is the exploration about? What are you trying to discover? How did you collect data? Let's write something. This lab is about graphs. How did you collect data? What does the data represent? What is the meaning of your data? And last, make a conclusion. Write about your choice of hypothesis. How are graphs and speed related? And how do your data and graphs support or oppose your hypothesis? I will make a conclusion here. The student has a chance to save this. Let's do that. Okay, I've submitted it to my teacher. This will move us to the extra credit question, but if I'd like, I can go back to that lab report and download it as a PDF file. So that's one of the cool things. We can save this offline. It's always online for the teacher or student to look at. And indeed, the teacher can give some feedback to the student and the student can try to rework the lab and the lab report if they get feedback to that level from their teacher that they need to do some more on this. Such as I missed some of this writing, maybe the teacher is going to remind me of that. I could come back in and rewrite those sections. That is an overview of the student experience of smart science getting through one lab. We are also embedding in the Google Translate API for 100 language translation that's automated and we have the ability to read off the screen and to define words. For example, let me just read this section right here. I've highlighted and let's go ahead and start speaking. The following table shows simple slopes. Let me try that one more time with my volume up and start speaking. You will collect data to record. Also, one other exciting thing, if I don't, for example, know what the word experiment means, I can just look that up. It pops up a dictionary and thesaurus automatically. Thank you so much for watching this tour of the student version of Smart Science Next Generation. Look forward to other videos that we're creating soon about the teacher experience and the variety of labs that we have.